at Summit High School in Summit County. We're out here every day learning about how to use our hands. Marcus Simmons and his classmates are hammering out a big project. Down the house. And now twist it towards me. Building a 288 square foot tiny house from the ground up. We're gonna do plumbing, electrical. I mean, we've done the framing, roofing, all of it, insulation. Uh, start to finish, we learn it all. This is the first tiny home. In a new construction and class. It's a hive of activity. That instructor Oakley Van Oss says they will spend months building then selling as affordable housing for a teacher to use. We're gonna sell it. Uh, we've got some school districts down on the western slope that are lined up for this one. With the profits going to build another tiny house for another teacher. We'll sell it and take the proceeds, flip it, and start building another trailer. It's all part of this school's effort to offer more trade courses to give students skills they can use after high school. Take the skills that they've learned in high school and make a, a decision on their next path. They can go to college if they want. They can go to the trades if they want. With a lot of help coming from the Summit County construction community volunteering as mentors. This is all real life. This is stuff I'll be able to use. All in a class that Marcus says is a cut above the rest. Pretty amazing. It's great to see it happening. Such a great program. There are about 50 volunteers from the Summit County Construction Community mentoring and volunteering their time to help with this project. Again, when they finish this house, they're going to sell it for about $80,000. It will be used for affordable housing for a teacher out on the western slope with the idea in the future they can build more tiny homes like this here in Summit County, make them more robust for the winter. And teachers right here can use them. Anusha and Erica, if you're living in a house that students build and you're a <laughs> teacher, that just shows how much you believe in the educational system. Yeah, I mean, what an incredible way to come full circle. And Matt, it's really interesting. There are some really innovative housing options and yeah. solutions that are coming out of the high country right now. There are so many that have been out there from living in uh, or converting hotels into affordable housing to now doing programs like this. It shows that it's not just one thing that's going to fix the affordable housing problem in Colorado. It's going to be a number of different keys that open those doors, and this is just one of them. And it's a pretty cool idea that teaches some kids some great skills they can use later on in life. Yeah, and maybe it's another career opportunity for them as well. Matt, awesome story. Thank you so much.